Well, good afternoon. The second Dallas healthcare worker who contracted the Ebola virus was on a flight the day before she had symptoms. She was on Frontier Airlines Flight 1143. Now the CDC wants to interview all 132 passengers who were on the plane with her. Another healthcare worker at this Dallas hospital infected with Ebola. Like her colleague Nina Pham, who is still hospitalized with the virus, we're told nurse Amber Vinson was part of the team of 77 people involved in treating the Ebola patient who died there last week. The others are being monitored daily with concerns there could still be more cases. It may get worse before it gets better. But it will get better. A team of CDC experts still trying to figure out how these two women contracted Ebola. Meanwhile, the largest nurses union in the country is claiming the hospital made serious mistakes, alleging in part that the protective gear that healthcare workers wore while caring for Thomas Eric Duncan left part of their skin exposed. They did not feel safe in providing the care. For that patient. Dallas Health Presbyterian Hospital saying we will continue to review and respond to any concerns raised by our nurses and all employees. The CDC now with a team of experts to offer guidance, oversight, and additional training to the staff there. At Vincent's apartment complex, where she lives alone, decontamination is already underway, but neighbors are on alert. It's very scary knowing how deadly of a disease it is, so it's very scary. Now, Vincent was on a flight from Cleveland to Dallas, and once again, the CDC wants to interview everybody who was on that flight. Today, Vincent's being transferred to Emory University Hospital in Atlanta. They have a biocontainment unit specialized to treat Ebola patients. Nurse Nina Pham is listed in good condition in Dallas right now. And meanwhile, the president postponed a fundraising trip today. He met with his cabinet this afternoon. We're expecting to hear from the White House very soon about their plans and what to do about Ebola.